guys, Lyra here. So today we are going to be going over the second chapter in my philosophy story and we're still going through this book here, The Story of Philosophy by Will Durant, bomb ass book. So the second chapter details the main theories and the life of Aristotle. Right, and you th when you think of Aristotle, you think logical, you know, logic for every action. There's an opposite and equal reaction. And I also thought of Alexander the Great since he tutored him. It's about all I knew about Aristotle, but I learned a hell of a lot from that chapter. But I'm just going to go over one very memorable and useful concept for you here right now. So this concept is actually the idea of the middle way. I don't know if it actually originated from oriental philosophy, but Aristotle was really big on the middle way. And um, when you think about it deeply, it's a whole reframing and reconceptualizing your idea of how to live your life, the type of person that you want to be, the type of choices that you want to make. So oftentimes when you think about making a choice or a decision, you think either a choice is right or wrong. This is a very kind of old school, archaic way to think about how to live your life. But Aristotle, back in the day, remember this is like centuries ago, he revamped or just basically threw that theory out and he was like, bitch, ain't nobody got time for that. And he introduced the concept of the middle way. Okay, so what is the middle way? Well, instead of thinking about choices being right or wrong, you could instead think about your um, philosophy of life or the way that you live your life or the characteristics that you decide to adopt for yourself. Instead of thinking of them being good or bad, think of them as being either too extreme or the middle way. So an example is, in between cowardice and rashness is courage. In between stinginess and extravagance is morality. Between sloth and greed is ambition. Between qu quarrelsomeness, like your tendency to argue too much, and flattery is friendship. And in between indecisiveness and impulsiveness is self-control. So, Aristotle promotes the idea of seeking out the middle way rather than being way too extreme on one end or the other and oftentimes what you're really wanting and what you really desire is a balance and the middle way and um, it's all just a matter of self-awareness in my opinion. You need to be self-aware of where you're coming from when you make the choices that you make. Where are your motivations coming from and oftentimes if your choices are too extreme your motivations are deranged I find. I'll just leave you with one last parting message which is be very wary of extremism and extreme viewpoints, extreme ways of living. Often they will lead you down uh, a path that you don't want to be led down and I've heard this several times, not just from this book, I've read lots of books and I've heard it many, many times by very successful, wealthy, wise, and uh, older people who have learned the lessons of this and they're trying to pass it on to us. Be wary of extremes. If there's one thing you should remember from this video, it's that. Okay guys, I hope that you have a great day and thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!